Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a haul video slash product review of the things that I got during my Europe vacation. Um, if you haven't seen my European vlog, I named that vlog series We in Europe. So uh, maybe I'll leave a link to the first vlog of that series down below so you can check that out. But onto the things that I have to show you guys. I didn't buy that many things. I bought four things between Paris and Rome. I arrived back in the States three and a half weeks ago, so I wanted to have some time to use the products, let it sink in, let me gather my thoughts about what I like and dislike of each thing that I got, and come back to you guys um, with a review of what I got. Um, all of the stuff that I have to show you guys, all of these things, um, they're back in the packaging just to kind of keep with the theme of haul so I can just take it out of the packaging. Um, I thought it would be fun that way, but obviously I've used all these items, but uh, yeah, that's all the explanation that I'm going to give to you. I'll start with Chanel. Um, I got this when I was at the um, Paris airport and um, it's pretty simple. It is also in its packaging. It's the Chanel Egoist Pour Homme. Um, it is the Eau de Toilette, which is kind of a diluted form of a parfum. This is what the actual bottle looks like. It's really classy, of course, it's Chanel. Um, and the reason why I gravitated towards this, one, because I thought that it smelled pretty versatile. I can wear this during the day at work or at night if I wanted to go out to dinner or out to um, get some drinks with the friends. Um, it has this fresh, sexy, citrusy, uh, and woodsy scent to it all at the same time. I was reading a bit of reviews online to see how what people liked about it and constantly a lot of people said it was kind of like sex in a bottle. And I can kind of see that. The way that I wear this cologne is that I wear it on my skin, not so much my clothes because I used to do that, but for this cologne it's an eau de toilette so it's supposed to be meant as a spray for your body and the way that it reacts to your skin and to your body heat it's supposed to give out that scent. From my experience you only need a little bit of this to go a long way. I remember kind of spraying three or four sprays on my body and then got ready and my mom was like, what is that potent smell on your body? And I'm like, um, it's the new Chanel fragrance that I got. So I typically just do one or two at the most. I got this at duty free at the airport. So you're saving about like 15% and I'm forgetting how much I paid for it, but um, it was a lot cheaper than what I would get back home in the States. So that's the first item. The next item that I have to show you guys is from Prada. And before I even talk about this, I should also note that if you are from the States going into the European Union, you best uh, get your tax back, the VAT. Don't make the same mistake that I did at the Saint Laurent store, which I have a product after this that I'm going to show you guys, but bring your passport or a screenshot of your passport so that they could write that slip up for you so that you can redeem your VAT tax, which is about 12 to 15% I believe, so you can redeem your taxes later on. Yeah. At the Prada store, of course, this lovely bag, I got this box. That's it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I got a wallet. And opening the box, you kind of have this like look, this really cool paper tissue on the bottom. Now let's get to the better part. It is a wallet that looks like that. It's the Safiano leather wallet. And it comes in like a dark navy blue leather and then a lighter kind of royal blue strip on the top. Um, there's also a metal logo on the bottom right of the front face of the wallet. Um, when you open it, this is the current wallet that I'm using, so me opening it from the packaging was totally a fake. But uh, there are six credit card holders on the front which is good. And then one large bill compartment for your dollar bills. This is made from leather, a texturized leather at that. I don't know if you can see kind of the texture that the front has. And it's a little bit more of a durable leather and really fine quality. This is 3.7 by 3.2 inches when you know when you close it up. But there was also a larger version of this wallet. And I opted for the smaller version because the larger one 
in my opinion, was too large for, you know, what I'm used to. Euros and British pounds, th those bills are huge. I would never be able to fit those uh, pounds or euros into this wallet. It would fit the larger size, but for U US dollars, this is a perfect size for me. I have been using this one for about a week and a half to two weeks. Also with this particular Safiano wallet, it comes in different colors. I saw in the store that there was a black um, wallet with the blue stripe and I'm sure that there are other variations of that color combination But I opted for the dark blue with the royal blue strip on the top Also another item that the Prada wallet came with was like an auth Authenticity card. I don't know when you would actually need to show this to somebody other than like manufacturing defects But I'm not gonna keep this card which includes like um, where I got it, the date that I got it, what the, the the model and version of the wallet that I got. I would never keep this in my wallet just to show people like, oh, this is a real wallet. Not really my style, but uh, yeah, that is what I got from Prada. So when I was in Paris, I stopped by the Saint Laurent store on the Champs Elysees, and the packaging is really intricate because the top is actually a folded area, and then you just open it from that. Anyways, the thing that I got from Saint while it may sound gratuitous, I got another wallet. But hold on, let me explain my rationale. Um, it comes with this little like dust bag. For the days that I go out, I don't want to carry, and when I mean out, I mean going to the bars, out to the nightclubs, I do not want to bring a wallet that is huge and bulky like the Prada wallet or the wallets that have the bill folds and all that. I typically don't like bringing cash with me out because if that wallet is stolen, that's lost money, and with credit cards, it's, easily, it's easier to get your money back. Um, so I got a credit card wallet. Looks like that. Um, it is made from 100% calf skin, which is a lot softer than the Prada wallet that I had to show you guys before. It has two logos on the front. It has a silver stamping of the Saint Laurent logo. And then in the inside, there is, I don't know if you can see that, a debossed logo as well on the bottom right. Um, the wallet is 2.9 by 4.3 inches, so it's around the same size, but a little bit taller and less wide. There are four credit card slots here, uh, three on this side, and then one right over here. And then two slots for anything else, not specifically for credit cards, but maybe for like receipts on either side in the front. And then when you close it on the back side, there is also another slot for anything that you may need, insurance card, um, whatever. The interesting thing that I learned about the Saint Laurent wallet is that it was not made in Paris. It was made in Italy, which I thought was a little bit strange because Saint Laurent was, is a French brand, but the more that I thought about it, Italy is really known for their leather goods, and of course, they want the highest quality, so I'm assuming that's why this was made in Italy for the quality. So that being said, I use this when I'm kind of like on the go. I've used it a couple times going out and it works perfectly. It wore well as I used it. The I had the, the same problem as the Prada wallet where I felt like it wasn't closing as easily because it was still a little bit more durable and, and sturdy, but as I used it, it fit the way that I wanted it to close. And yeah, another thing, I will say that the price difference between buying this in Paris and buying this, say, online at the US online store for Saint Laurent, it's 25% cheaper if you bought it in Paris. To give perspective, it was like $90 difference. And that's not including the VAT 15 or 12% tax that you would get back at the airport. I forgot my passport when I went to the Saint Laurent store in Paris, and so I kind of missed out on some money saved, but not too hurt about it, but for future, bring your passport and um, buy your stuff in Paris because it's a lot cheaper than buying it here online, US point of sale. The last item that I have to show you guys is the big one. And I have to stand back a little bit, but it is from Gucci. I got this at Rome near the Spanish Tips. If you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you probably already had a hint as to what I bought. Oh wait, I also mentioned it on YouTube, but uh, it comes with a dust bag, and opening it up, it is 
the Gigi Supreme Carry On Duffel Bag in black and gray. This is my baby. And when I explain to you guys the specs and the details of this particular bag, you're probably going to be a little bit disappointed because the main thing is you would expect this to be leather. It's not leather. It is canvas with a earth process layer on top to help with, you know, the, um, the elements if it rains, um, to make it more sturdy, to make it more waterproof. Um, it feels like leather, but it's actually canvas with a layer of something. I forgot what the sales lady told me. This is the medium size. There's a larger size that goes with this that I thought was too big for what I intended it to be for. Um, I intended this to be for like more of a work slash gym bag and that sounds hella bougie to bring this to the gym, but you want to be in style when you go to the gym. The detailing on this duffel bag is made out of leather. The hardware is made out of dark metal and there are handles if you want to hold it like that or a nylon strap that you can use if you want to hold it that way. Also, there's a lock detail with a key if you want to use that. I found that this is actually perfect for weekend vacation so as you know I went to Leavenworth outside of Seattle and like a weekend bag, a day bag can fit some clothes, um, maybe a pair of shoes. I found that I put my shoes inside like a shoe bag because I didn't want to get that dirt that messy inside the duffel bag but I did realize that after using this bag bringing it to work and bringing it um, to the gym it's not really that great to put my laptop in because as you can see it's a little bit of a, an awkward shape that if my laptop decided to fall on one side it would kind of deform the bag so I had to put my laptop diagonally and then put stuff like a pair of shoes on one side or like my toiletry bag on the other side so that it balances it and then when I went to the gym, the lockers are more vertical, so I had to whoop, put it that way. Not gonna fly in the future. So I'm probably not gonna wear, bring this to the gym, but uh, this is a perfect carry-on size luggage or weekend bag that I would use in the future. All in all, I'm really happy with my purchases in Europe, and I typically don't splurge on that many things at once, but I thought that since I'm in, since I'm in Europe and things we're typically and generally a lot more cheaper there than it is here. I thought, why not go for it? And yeah, if you have any questions of any of the products that I had to show you guys today, please leave it in the comment box below, as well as I've always been wanting to know what other videos that you guys want me to put in the future. Uh, leave that in the comment box below too. Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.